Hello, I have just decided on a whim to make this video today because somebody had called me and we were talking and they were asking me, how the heck do you keep track of everything with your online business? And I am personally in affiliate marketing. I have several affiliate sites, software products that I promote. And how do I keep track of everything? And that is a very good question. So we got together and I set everything up and showed my friend how I did this. And I thought, well, what a great topic for a video. Because when you're starting your business out, you get very, very overzealous and you want to just promote everything. And that's normal. And some of the things that you start promoting pan out and some don't and then you just start realizing wait a minute I want to bring this in and have more of a niche which you should do anyway but in the beginning it's hard to understand all those things so I'm assuming you've already started your business you have all these different products that you're promoting and you're like how do I get organized and that's what I'm going to show you today we're going to use Google Drive actually and a lot of people haven't used it if you have and you know all about it then you might want to skip the beginning of the video and jump over there and see how I organize um, but this is what I do there might be people that are more organized more efficient and I'm sure there are um, but this is good for me at this point in my business uh, some people get so big they start hiring people and that's wonderful but I'm not at that point yet so first of all anybody can use this but I am kind of organizing affiliate links so again anybody can use the excel sheet anybody can use google drive but i'm going to talk to people who are looking at affiliate marketing what do i do with all these links that i have and how do i organize them first of all if you're just looking because you're interested and you don't even know what affiliate marketing it is i'll explain that to you first um, but before we get started my name is vanessa de Berlay and my channel i'm here to help you earn money save time and find balance in your life that's what my channel is all about so today i'm showing you how to save time how to get organized <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started affiliate marketing is when you refer other people's products and you see people referring products online all the time you see actually there's people on amazon that are selling products and they're promoting their own products and making money um, and that's a whole nother business but you go into play you're like well, where do i find products to promote how do you do that this is a a, um, a software or a site called share a sale it's a network marketing site and you go in and pick products that you want to promote so let's say you're you have a passion for fashion you're just really good you 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 know how to put clothes together really well and you're very fashionable and you just love it well you might want to start promoting different outfits and different fashion and things so you could come to share a sale and find products that other businesses are promoting um Gymboree, look at that right there Gymboree actually allows you to promote their products so maybe you have children and you have you have a baby right now or little ones and you just love dressing them and you just want to promote their Gymboree's clothes for children you can do that you sign up with share sale you become an affiliate and then when you go into that merchant um, let's say Gymboree they will give you links and they will give you banners and they will give you all information to help you advertise or promote their product you can also develop your own you see Jillian Michaels here Jillian is a fitness coach if you're into fitness you might want to promote her product she's already got a name for herself just like Gymboree already has a name you're just promoting it and and giving your opinion about it and obviously in my opinion you want to promote something that you are passionate about or you use or you agree with because it, you're not going to be very convincing if you're promoting Gymboree and you don't even know what it is anybody that's used their clothes they know that the quality is really good so then that merchant will give you a commission they might say for every product that you sell on this list whatever it is we're going to give you 20 percent, or we're going to give you 30 percent, or 15 percent. they're all different to be honest i have seen anywhere from 70 percent all the way up to 50 percent in products now typically when things are 30 to 50 percent, that's when you're promoting a software um, all of your affiliate marketers out here they need landing page software they need autoresponders and so those are memberships that you're promoting um, so let's say you're using a landing page software like click funnels you make a video and you say this is what I'm using this is how it works other people will say wow I need a landing page software I'm going to use that when they click your link that's when you make a commission and each month 
they are they stay with click funnels and you make 40 percent as an example there's lots of other ones out there but those are called membership recurring fees that you earn when you're selling a product like a hat or a purse or something like that you just make that fee one time so that's what affiliate marketing is here's another site that i use it's called clickbank oh, and it's the same thing you can go into clickbank and you might go under health and fitness it's always a popular one right and then when you go under it it's going to show you all the products that clickbank offers now again clickbank isn't offering them it is like a a landing tool the people offering the products are coming in to post their product on there you're coming in to say hey i'll sell that for you as an affiliate it's a win 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 situation clickbank gets a cut from the person posting um, from the marketer you're getting a cut for selling it and the person selling the product is getting a cut so all three of us win plus the buyer is happy so four of us are all happy with the transaction and it's very very easy now how do i organize all of this i go to google drive so just type in google drive click google drive if you don't have an account go ahead and set it up i believe when i set it up it just said hey collect this with your gmail account or with your google google account and i just hit a button and it all connected um i, I set this up years ago so i'm not really sure but click it follow the steps and you can get it set up but it's called google drive so it's almost like a platform where you keep all of your stuff so let me click that real quick this is what mine looks like i'm I use it for everything I use it for work I use it for my affiliate program I use it for personal stuff everything is here all of my different um, PDFs that I save my word documents my Excel sheets so if my computer crashes everything is on Google Drive and I highly recommend that you open up an Excel sheet and that's what we're gonna do today you go over here where it says new click that and it's going to say you can upload files here or folders but we're going to open up a new excel sheet it's the green with the little cross and it says we want a blank one okay i already uploaded it it's right here so you want to give it a title and what i have on my sheet um, there's little tabs at the bottom and i actually have oh i don't see them here all right this is just one sheet here but this one is your affiliate tracking page if you've already used excel before this is how i track i put in a what type of an affiliate program is it this is um post planner and post planner is a membership site so when people come in they will pay a one-time fee if they pay for a year or they'll pay a monthly fee the commission is 30 percent um all of the everything i have it in green because once i start making commissions i highlight it in green because in the beginning like i said you're going to be overzealous you're going to be signing up for different things probably things you don't even know what they are because you're so excited but keep posting them on here um it is recommended that you pick five things and really promote them and I did that I've got my top five but I still get I still got overzealous in the beginning and so just so I know what's working what's not working I, I highlight it okay because you might drop things you might say you know what this isn't panning out not many people are coming to it um, some of them give you a um, term like if you haven't sold anything in 12 months or something like that they might drop you so this just helps you keep track which ones actually are bringing money in so i rate them i put yes this is what i want to keep or i might put i don't know or i might put the date here of of when i set it up just something um to, to kind of help me identify where it's standing this is the affiliate name and this is the type um, you could put social media planner there and um, that's what this is you could be more specific but i just put planner um, because i really just promote planners for social media not other planners this is my link for my tracking my affiliate tracking link this is not the link that people go to to get to the site what I've done is over here on the end you see there's another link that's the affiliate that's the link to get to the site it's called www.postplanner.com and I put it there just so I remember that okay now over here I have my username my password and then the gateway payment some people will put your payment in paypal some of them want you to go to something like stripe other people say that you can deposit into your savings account or your checking account due to a direct deposit so whatever that gateway payment is you want to put it 
here because you're not going to know where to look for it and i'm going to give you a little hint there was a couple months ago i was um, going through all of my affiliate links and kind of cleaning them up and just like this and seeing what what doesn't have a green on it yet and i went into one of them to check and it, there was money waiting for me and i'm like well why didn't that ever come to my account i had forgotten to set up my gateway payment so that's why you need to put that there where am i looking at for that money and go in occasionally maybe take one day a month and go back and check everything and make sure everything's working because um, maybe they were putting it into a uh, depositing it into one of your accounts and maybe you changed that account number or something or maybe something got, got messed up so you just want to go in once a month or so and check this is the affiliate link here this is the link that i would give people when i talk about post planner i say hey you can go check it out for yourself here's the link and that's when they click that link and they go in and look at post planner if they sign up that's when i make a commission so i hope this was helpful i you can change your columns around but these are the things that i found that i need to keep track of i started out tracking them in one note but if you crash your computer crashes or maybe you have to uh, get the Im get it reimaged or something like that you're going your chances of losing all of your OneNote information is really high I actually keep it in both because OneNote is on my desktop I can go in real quick and grab everything but I always have this backup I have all my passwords my um, for all the sites that I use um, on another tab all your you can put your banking information whatever you need the nice thing is it's all and on a web like a cloud where if you crash it's still there and because i know this can get really complicated so start using um google drive uh, that's where you'll also put your pdfs or if you have any um, other things that you use for your business you can put them in a folder and everything is here um, give me a thumbs up if that was helpful and again i know this isn't probably the best way in the world most efficient way but it does work for me it's safe and everything is in one place and like i say my the most fun that i have is when i get to turn that commission green and say yes some money came in and it's working and it gets so so exciting so you might start out with a page with 15 things and no greens but that day that you get that one green highlighted spot that's when it really gets exciting because it does work just hang in there keep getting it organized keep learning keep getting better at what you're doing and i promise you it'll work there are no links today um maybe we'll put the post planner link down there if you're interested in that i'll put my affiliate link down there for post planner and you can check it out it's actually only 36 dollars a year and you get to post you get to schedule your posting for three different platforms so you could put facebook twitter instagram or three facebook play whatever you want there's three on there and you get to plan all your posts out for a whole month if you want sit there for two days plan it out and forget about it and post planner will post for you and it's really awesome but it's only 36 dollars, and that's why i like it you don't you know when you're starting out you don't need these big fancy ones like hootsuite and things like that where you have 10 platforms you're just happy to have three in the beginning and that's why i love post planner it's really good for beginners and it's not expensive 36 bucks for 12 months you can't beat that so check it out and then if you're an affiliate marketer sign up and become an affiliate yourself all right thanks for coming and i'll see you on the next video